How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. How, how is the pace here the first uh, couple of days compared to college for you? Um, it's real up tempo, uh, but being at the University of Colorado and being coached by Mike McIntyre for four years, it's kind of the same type of tempo. But you can't, you know, during the off season and training, you can't really practice for this uh, this kind of tempo. But you know, it's a great tempo. What's the adjustment like in scheme compared to what you were doing at Colorado? Um, it's kind of a lot of the same things because my going into my junior year, we had Jim Levitt, who was with the 49ers, the linebackers coach, and he kind of brought his same. You know, NFL defense towards a college football for my junior and senior year. So it's kind of a lot of the same type of things. We do a lot of, you know, single high stuff and things like that and put our corners on put our corners on the island because we got great corners just like they do here. And I think it's a lot of the same verbiage, but just little, you know, little different words, but kind of the same verbiage. Was that you as the single high safety? Or? Uh, majority, majority of the time, but, you know, we kind of play size because we play in the Pac-12. So everything was so fast, we couldn't really, we couldn't really pick a, um, we couldn't really pick a true free safety or strong safety. It was so up tempo, so we were just on size. What's it like having Kenny Lawler? He went through this last year, so he's kind of the rabbit in this whole camp. Yeah. He's throwing, throwing an experienced guy at you. Like, uh, uh, how much does that mean to you, and what's that like? It means a lot, to be honest. I knew him before I, uh, I got here. I played him my sophomore year at Cal, and one of my best friends, Marquise Mosley, went to high school with Ken Kenny, and we called him K-Law. So I already knew who he was, and we already were talking. So just having him, him here and being able to talk to him about certain things like that is just a blessing. Yeah, we're getting to know, you know, everybody on not just the defensive side, but the guys that are on the offensive side too. But with the DBs, we just try to, you know, push ourselves just like Coach Carroll and the rest of the coaching staff and the rest of our teammates are trying to do. We're just trying to find that bond for ourselves. What's your first uh, impression of the Seahawks vibe here, the environment? I think the biggest thing is how competitive, you know, the competitive nature they bring and how everything we do, we compete no matter what it is. And I think that's the biggest thing that we're just always going to compete and try to make each one of us better. What kind of reaction have you got to the, to the video your brother made of the draft day and, and all that? Uh, I got a lot. Um, my brother been like doing videos and stuff like that since we were kids. He's always been a type of dancer. He's always been singing and stuff. So he's always made those type of videos. And I just got a lot of, just a lot of different, you know, different reactions from it. To be honest, I didn't even realize the camera was right there. I was just kind of being myself. And, and um, you know, some guys, one of my, Close friends at Colorado texted me this morning and said he used it as motivation. You know, a lot of my family members, we laugh about it because I was crying and stuff like that. So it's just different emotions from everybody. Did you expect to be that emotional when that call came and everything? Or? I didn't really have any type of expe expectations, to be honest. Like, I didn't know, you know, I was, people were asking me how you going to feel when it happens. It's kind of a surreal feeling and you kind of just got to, I guess, you can't really explain it until it, it really happens. But, you know, it was just a blessing from God, from Mr. Snyder and Coach Carroll and the rest of the coaching staff to believe in me. It was just a really big